In 2014, 70 plus teaching artists from around the islands gathered for the Teaching Artist Institute. They shared best practices, learned from each other, and reflected on their work in both education and the arts. Guest artist Liz Lerman introduced new ways of thinking about their work, both challenging and inspiring the teaching artists. Here, the teaching artists share some of their experiences, their new insights, and inspirations. And our essential question, how is creativity cultivated? Those four words, how is creativity cultivated, are words that we want to be ringing through your brains in all the sessions that we, uh, that we uh, attend here in the two days, and we're gonna frame our questions around that. I would start with, um, with this idea that creativity is like a birthright. That is, yeah, every human being is, um, I think, born with, the, with really innate capacity to be creative, by which I mean the possibility of being fresh, uh, being able to problem solve in new ways, uh, being able to find beauty in their own unique vision and to be able to express that, to be part of a group and express that. It's, it, the creativity itself, I think, moves through every discipline. I don't think it's just the arts that are creative. I think every discipline and every function has moments of what we might call creativity. The importance is in the community. You know, you can never really know how much of a difference you're making if you're just on your own. You're never by yourself, especially um, with art. All art is contributive, all art is connected in some way, and uh, education also. And if that's kind of your flagship of what you're pushing for for the kids, everyone on the same page pushing toward the same thing is only that much greater. So a, a good melting pot, a good melding of minds, techniques, styles, flavors, understandings, new names, new words, new terms. The greatest artists are great thinkers, and that's what we're trying to create in our students. The arts allow for them to have that time and space to experiment with different thoughts, to pull things together that might not have gone together before, to take what they're, they're learning about in science and language and what, what they want to do physically and pull all that together to create a new discovery, a new way of thinking or a new way of working together. I had a student in third grade this year who I started in his class, I had eight sessions and every day for the first two lessons he would go, oh it's just art, it's just art. Then I started zeroing in on his t-shirts, his patterns on his t-shirts, the patterns in his pants. Then the teacher would back me up and she'd go, look at these books, do you think that who made this? Oh, it was an artist? Oh, who do you think designed your clothes? Oh, it was an artist. Oh, what about your dad's new truck? Do you think that person was an artist? In the arts, um, we have a particular advantage to putting together the elements that make up creativity, which is an inquisitiveness, um, an obsessiveness, um, a, a belief in discipline and skill, and at the same time, although it seems paradoxical, as seeking of freedom and liberation. For the teachers who are willing to go there, I think it uh, eliminates the strain of feeling that they have to control everything that goes on in their classroom. Because if you're going to work in a creative area, or especially work with the imagination, you, you can't be in charge of it. You have to stimulate it and then manage what comes forth. Uh, it's uh, giving up control is really the thing. But those who get it, feel liberated by it. So do, so do the students, yeah? We see a problem and what we do is we smash it, yeah? And what we should be doing is thinking about how can we go around it? How can we diffuse it? How can we, and all of that takes imagination and creativity. Everything I learn from a new, from an experience like this, a teaching artist institute or gathering with my teaching artist groups, I take into the classroom. So I will have aha, personal aha moments of, ah, that would be great, let me try that out. We're kind of pushed to think outside of our boxes is really important, and that we take the messages that we're learning in Institute uh, to translate them, digest them most importantly, and be able to incorporate them. So this is actually a lot of work, it's very rigorous going on, although it looks like a lot of fun. Because when you teach, you can become extremely repetitive year after year, and this just changes our way of thinking. I think there's, there's this excitement in the air, and, and there was excitement for me. Last year was, was my first time, and I was new to the islands. And to be able to be a part of that excitement and of that growth and for more collaboration 
and again to share what's been successful and maybe some things that haven't been um, that haven't been working as well and to be able to, to problem solve with others it's such a huge opportunity for us and to make sure that we're um, that we're, we're staying relevant to what our teachers and our students need it works it doesn't work I find out how it can work for me and then you know the students just gain I think so when we get together we remember who we are. We remember that we are part of a community that um, has thrived here in Hawaii and is among the best in the country. And we remember that what we do really, really matters, not just to us, but to every single child in Hawaii. So when you bring people together who are teachers, who themselves have committed so much of their lives to young people, and give them a chance to spend two days together. It's, it's just so much more than the thing itself. There's so much, I mean, these people, I've observed them, I mean, I got to teach them, which of course was great, but I got to observe, observe them, have supper with them, and they are at work the whole time. They are constantly sorting out their relationship to their own art making, their relationship to their students, their relationship to their schools, their relationship to their communities. I mean, these people are the real, you know, I want to say the salt of the earth, the real leaders.